16 Most Haunted Places in the World Hoyabachu Forest, Romania From the moment a military technician captured a photograph of a UFO hovering over the forest in 1968, Hoyabachu has gained paranormal notoriety around the world, with some believing it to be a portal that causes visitors to disappear. Those who have passed through the forest without being zapped into another realm have reported rashes, nausea, and feelings of anxiety, according to the Independent. Known as the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania, the spooky curved trees that populate the forest just add to the eerie atmosphere. The Stanley Hotel, Estes Park, Colorado The Stanley Hotel's stately Georgian architecture and world-renowned whiskey bar have lured travelers to Estes Park since opening in 1909, but the hotel reached new levels of fame after inspiring Stephen King to create The Shining's fictional Overlook Hotel. That eerie association aside, many other ghost sightings and some mysterious piano music have been connected to the hotel, and the Stanley Hotel leans into its reputation with nightly ghost tours and psychic consultations from the in-house Madame Vera. Chuck Lagoon, Micronesia What's even scarier than a haunted graveyard? Probably a haunted graveyard that sits 50 feet underwater. Micronesia's Chuck Lagoon, formerly Truck Lagoon, served as a fortified base for the Japanese Navy during World War II, and it was attacked by American forces during a three-day airstrike in 1944. Dozens of warships, planes, tanks, and railroad cars sank to the bottom of the lagoon, where they remain today in what is known as the Ghost Fleet of Truck Lagoon. The ship graveyard is immensely popular with scuba divers, with Potty dubbing it one of the best wreck diving destinations on the planet. Underwater explorers can swim up close to the wartime vessels, which are littered with weapons, gas masks, and, according to some superstitious divers, a few waterlogged ghosts. St. George's Church, Czech Republic Originally built in 1352, St. George's Church, about 125 miles east of Prague, boasts quite a history. The building was nearly destroyed by fires many times over the centuries, and its roof partially collapsed during a funeral service in 1968. After that event, the congregation became convinced the church was haunted and refused to enter, as a result, the building was stripped by robbers and fell prey to vandalism. That all changed in 2012, when an art student at the University of West Bohemia had an idea to lure visitors back to the church, a collection of 30 ghost sculptures sitting in the pews with their heads bowed. Today, tourists have flocked to the Ghost Church, which opens to the public every Saturday afternoon, to snap photos and even sit among the unmoving specters while praying. Edinburgh Castle, Scotland One of the biggest attractions in Scotland's capital city is also considered to be one of its most haunted. With sections dating back more than 900 years, the historic fortress's ancient dungeons have led visitors to report sightings of colonial prisoners from the American Revolutionary War and French prisoners from the Seven Years' War, and even the ghost of a dog wandering the castle's dog cemetery. Eastern State Penitentiary, Philadelphia The castle-like Eastern State Penitentiary took solitary confinement to new levels when it was built in 1829. Prisoners lived alone, exercised alone, and ate alone. When an inmate left his cell, a guard would cover his head with a hood so he couldn't see or be seen. The prison had to abandon its solitary system due to overcrowding in 1913, although the forms of punishment did not get any less severe, chaining an inmate's tongue to his wrists is one example, before it closed for good in 1970. The site now welcomes thousands of visitors every year, both for its museum and Halloween celebrations. Reported paranormal happenings have included disembodied laughter, shadowy figures, and pacing footsteps. Isla de las Minecas, Mexico Despite its status as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its well-preserved examples of Aztec life, the neighborhood of Xochimilco has reached a certain amount of internet fame for its island of the dolls. Hidden among the region's many canals, the site is famous for the hundreds of dolls, and doll parts, hanging from trees and scattered among the grass. 
While it might look more like a horror movie set, the Chinampa, akin to an artificial island, used to be the residence of a now-deceased man named Julian Santa Barrera. After finding a dead girl's body in a nearby canal, Barrera collected and displayed the toys in the hopes of warding off evil spirits, reports National Geographic. Daring souls can hire their own boat and view the island safely from the water. Al Madam, United Arab Emirates There is something eerily beautiful about ghost towns, and Al Madam is no exception. Located in about 40 miles southeast of Dubai, the village was most likely built in the 1970s and deserted shortly after, a fact that local legend attributes to jinn, shape-shifting spirits, scaring people straight out of town. No one knows whether or not the spirits have lingered, but Al Madam still has a sort of haunted quality to it, dunes encroaching on the two rows of houses in a mosque, sand falling through broken windows like waves, and a seemingly endless sea of ochre desert stretching out in every direction. St. Augustine Lighthouse, Florida The St. Augustine Lighthouse is visited by more than 216,000 people annually, but it's just as well known for its otherworldly guests. Several tragic events that occurred at the now historic site have contributed to the alleged paranormal activity. The ghost of a lighthouse keeper who fell to his death while painting the tower has been spotted watching over the grounds. And ever since the horrific death of three young girls, who drowned when the cart they were playing in broke and fell into the ocean, visitors have claimed to hear the sounds of children playing in and around the lighthouse. Gunover, Iceland If you already thought Iceland had an otherworldly quality to it, just wait until you hear the story behind Gunover, the country's largest geothermal mud pool. The area is named after Ghana, a woman who lived on this slice of the Rake Janes Peninsula some 400 years ago. After dying of starvation, her spirit came back home to violently murder her former landlord and his wife. The local townspeople called upon a priest to take care of their little ghost problem, which he solved by casting Ghana into a boiling hot mud pool. While no other supernatural murders have occurred since then, some visitors claim to catch glimpses of Ghana's ghostly figure through the billowing mist of the pools from time to time. Bonaventure Cemetery, Savannah The entire city of Savannah is pretty much one giant ghost story, with mysterious stories shrouding everything from public parks to breweries. But few city spots evoke quite as much reverence as Bonaventure Cemetery, overflowing with moody Spanish moss and time-worn Victorian monuments. There are many notable figures buried here, like singer Johnny Mercer and poet Conrad Aiken, but it's the grave of Gracie Watson that dark tourists should flock to. Having died at just six years old, her grave is marked by a life-size marble statue with her hand resting on a tree stump, symbolizing her life cut short. Many visitors place toys at her grave, and some have reported seeing the ghost of Gracie near the site. Other spooky accounts of the cemetery include inexplicable sounds, like crying babies and barking dogs, and, creepiest of all, statues suddenly smiling as people approach them. The Forbidden City, Beijing, China No trip to Beijing is complete without a visit to the Forbidden City, China's former imperial palace that now serves as a museum. But you might not know that the popular tourist destination, has quite the reputation among supernatural enthusiasts. During its 600-year tenure as a palace, the complex had its fair share of murders, whether from jealous concubines poisoning one another or executions performed at the emperor's behest. Needless to say, there have been many reports of strange phenomena since the palace opened to the public in the 1940s. The most common story involves a woman dressed in white, as most good ghost stories do, strolling around the grounds and sobbing. Leap Castle, Ireland Built at some point between the 13th and late 15th century, this Irish castle has seen more gruesome deaths than a Game of Thrones wedding. As legend has it, during a struggle for power within the O'Carroll clan, which had a fondness for poisoning dinner guests, one member plunged a sword into his brother, a priest, as he was holding mass in the castle's chapel. 
The room is now called the Bloody Chapel, and the priest is said to haunt the church at night. The horror doesn't end there, at least not according to the macabre history outlined on Leap Castle's website. During renovations in the early 1900s, workmen found a secret dungeon in the Bloody Chapel with so many human skeletons, they filled three cartloads when hauled away. The dungeon was designed so that prisoners would fall through a trapdoor, have their lungs punctured by wooden spikes on the ground, and die a slow, horrific death within earshot of the sinister clan members above. Oriental Theater, Chicago Ghosts are said to haunt the Oriental Theater, formerly the Iroquois Theater, in the Loop area of downtown Chicago, where almost 600 people perished after a fire famously broke out in 1903. Even though the theater was completely rebuilt and rebranded, spirits of the dead remained, apparitions have been seen in Death Alley, the street behind the theater where bodies were stacked after the disaster, and a common stop on many a Chicago ghost tour. Poveglia Island, Venice Less than half a mile from the canals of Venice, Poveglia Island has served as a quarantine zone for bubonic plague victims, storage space for Napoleon's weapons, and the site of an early 20th century insane asylum. The asylum played host to horrific medical experiments, reports the Travel Channel, and finally closed for good when a doctor threw himself off the institution's bell tower. Locals still claim to hear echoing chimes from the island, even though the bell was removed decades ago. It's illegal to visit Poveglia today, but you can see the island and decaying hospital safely from the beaches of nearby Lido. La Recoleta Cemetery, Buenos Aires You don't have to be religious to be moved by La Recoleta Cemetery, which features thousands of statues, fairy tale grottos, and intricate tombstones, as well as the remains of Argentina's most iconic figure, Eva Perón. The stone walkways and labyrinth of mausoleums are as beautiful as they are eerie, and Recoleta has a couple of haunted legends of its own. One of the most famous stories involves David Alino, a former grave digger and caretaker who worked at the cemetery for 30 years before killing himself. Today, people report hearing Alino's keys jangling as his ghost walks the pathways at dawn, 